Look at that. Boom. Ready? Now we're here. Sometimes hit record just to see what happens. Um, what you want to do? Nah. Oh, you want to turn this on? No, you can turn it on. See, I wish I would have my Facebook. Let's try this. You got Bitcoins? No, I ain't got none of them. I got Bitcoins. I ain't got no coins. <laughs> yeah, when you get in front of the camera, it'd be weird. It feels powerful. Yeah, so. But it's a weird film. Yeah, so if you listen to, to the podcast, I've been trying to do the podcast, trying to hit record on that, and it's like, you get this crazy feeling on your belly. Like That's probably why people get that rush when they're actors, and they get in front of that camera, and that's probably why they love to do what they do. And it allows them to become a different person, it's right? Like, it's like a high that you get, probably. You know, how you, you know how you play football? Yeah. And you know, right before the game, you start getting that gut. National anthem. <laughs> That's probably what it is when it's like, ready, you ever, action. You mm. ever stood there for the national anthem and your heart be racing? Like like real real tears come down your face? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, you ever get that feeling? And you don't even know what that feeling is? So that's what they say. So, like, do what makes your heart race. Talked about that before in the podcast. Yeah. Do what makes your heart race. Whatever makes your heart race, do that. Right, I'm going to go live. says that. You want Instagram or Facebook? I think Facebook is more. Yeah. You see, you go and see everybody. Everybody's on Facebook. I can transfer it to Facebook then. All right. I'll be like. No, I'm saying I can. Uh, the, once the video is done, yeah, but you won't have a live comments or feeds or people. Yeah. Won't view it from Facebook. Um, I'm gonna log in the booth. For a lot of friends. Uh, we we got a lot of friends and ready, so I'm. We've been doing. I've been hitting record on this for a while. Our friend Rachel, right? When the desk was over there, we had. I got a video. I just watched last night, and it said. Um, I was talking about how, I had. I, I got friends. I got people throughout this country, that, like Operation is a Operation X is a brand that you don't have to, be in the building with, right? So you can you can, my the goal, and I was talking about in the video was like. My boy that lives in, in Iowa can still live the lifestyle. So Operation X is a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? So to build off of what you're saying, like with our platforms and everything, what we choose to do with our platforms is very, very important. What your plat your plat platform has to represent who you are. What we we just we just make the what was we just saying? Well, let me let me let me put this on. I know, I know where you're going now. With this. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, I'm on. I'm on his. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, we definitely had to go live for this um, because what, what Ryan was just getting at as we were talking is um, walking in your purpose, learning how to walk in your purpose. And uh, it, it's like a very powerful message because sometimes you get lost in your journey and you question yourself and you, you don't know what direction you're going in sometimes. And uh, sometimes you have to remove yourself and really reflect, like, yo, is this where I want to be right now? But it, it, it's all a journey, and you're, we're all learning to walk in our purpose. And uh, we all, you know, we all serve ourselves. We serve our families. We serve our friends. And, you know, it's, you try to figure out life, but there is no, there is no map. You know, there is no, there, you can have a plan, but... You know, just learn how to be in the moment, be present, as my good friend Rachel would say. Yeah. And, um, you know, you learn to walk in your purpose. Just have faith. That's why, I, I, one, if you're not doing, like, self-help things, if you're not reading books, if you're not trying to educate yourself in some way, you're doing yourself a dis disservice. So a lot of times, at least on my channel, on my platform, 
I, I, I'm not the first one here. We're not the first ones here. This has been done before. We talk about all these cliche things that you see on the wall that we're looking at one right now. Today is, today is a good day to have a good day. That's repeated everywhere all the time for a reason. Bigger than us. So when these people are talking about these like, like uh, positive self-affirmations and, and these practices of, of like yoga and breathing and, and it just really working on yourself from within. Like I, I, some of the people always told you, you got to love yourself before you can love somebody else. We grown people, right? We're all grown. We're all grown. And it's like you hear things in the beginning of your journey. You hear things when you are younger that don't make sense until you have, maybe have to have lived through it or experienced it. I remember last time we was on the podcast, you said Coach was telling you something at 17 years old, 18 years old, that didn't make sense until you're 27, 28, 29 years old. You know what I mean? Yeah. Things, some, sometimes things don't make sense to us because we're not ready to have it make sense to us. We're not, we're not, we don't understand it yet. We haven't lived enough. Yeah, the one, the one quote that um, my, my coach, uh, Rocky Seto from uh, USC, um, awesome guy. And, you know, being at 17 years old, 18 years old, a message that he would always deliver to me is focus on the things that you can control. And it's a powerful message because you can't do anything about the things that you can't control, but those things that you can control, those are the things that you need to hone in on because you're responsible for those. You're responsible for yourself. And, um, you know, it, it's hard because sometimes you, you get caught up in ideas and things that aren't your responsibility. And um, you start moving away from the things that you can control, and then you have to get back in touch with yourself. Justin Sue always says, keep the main thing the main thing. That's the main thing. The main thing is keep the main thing the main thing. Think, find some priorities, find some things to hone in on, and, and, and make those on a daily basis the main thing. And something has to come up. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, it, it's like, it's so crazy because there's so many distractions out here in the world and uh, you can you can lose yourself and uh, that's a that's a crazy feeling um, you know it, I see it all the time with people even myself um, you know you you uh, you get lost and it's like it's a it's a terrible feeling because you don't you lose direction of where you really want to go or where you really want to be because you're not focused on whatever that plan is that you have for yourself. And um, just taking care of yourself is a priority. Make that a priority, you know. Be who you need to be um, and serve your purpose, you know. Live in your purpose, walk in your purpose. Um, that's, what I, that's like the thing that's been set in my head over these last few days is just knowing your purpose, knowing your priorities and taking care of those things, you know. Um, having a great support system around you is always, you know, is always key. Um, because you can't get through this life by yourself. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the, that's the um, one of the main things in this journey because we always think we all have it figured out. And then it's like one day you get humbled and it's like, wow, you know, I, I, I don't have it figured out. And having great people around you, having good people around you, I feel like I do, they help point you in that right direction. And I love having um, constructive criticism and people telling me like, yo, you're not doing the right things. And I'm like, yeah, I need to man up and, and start moving in the right direction. Yeah, it's because our, like you said, the people you surround yourself with, energy is real. And you got to be careful where you let your energy be. You got to be careful what you spend your time, your thoughts. Shh, energy is so crazy. And you got to be careful. Somebody told me a long time ago, be careful where you spend your energy. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I'm, think I'm just starting to develop that idea and understand that idea. Be careful where you put your energy. Because no matter where you, wherever you put energy, it's going to grow, right? So if you put energy in X, it's going to, X is going to get this big. You put it in Y, X, no matter, you choose where you want to put your energy. And then as we grow up, we need to, we, we're able to more now channel that, right? I think growing up in the beginning of our journeys, our energy is everywhere. Spread, spread, spread. But as you grow up, it starts to narrow. You start to get a little more clear-minded, little, little, have a little more focus and understand what does mean something to you. Yeah, it's so crazy about that, about energy. It's, it's like you know, the moment that you decide to invest your energy into the wrong place, it's, you, yeah, it, it's painful. 
you know you it spreads can feel like it. wildfire you can feel it so so ready let's take that so this is what i like to talk about my platform is like understanding those ideas and then practicing right so if we understand that if we if you put your energy into a negative and it will blow how do we shift that energy how do we practice how do we learn how to take that same energy and put it in something that is we'll call it positive for us as individuals and understand that put that energy into that positive and that too will blow right and that's a that's a switch because you get into these patterns we've been talking well, what story are we tell ourselves we've been, we've been talking about that for a little while recently what story are you constantly telling yourself in your head are you telling yourself you're a failure are you telling yourself that that you're a loser or are you telling yourself you're a winner you're telling yourself you can do that that you're built for success are you still telling yourself you are who what you did when that clicked in my brain when i heard that i'm not i'm not i am who i am i am me not what i've done right so we're humans humans make mistakes humans do things it's owning if it's if we're in the wrong it's it's taking that energy and how okay so i'm in the wrong take your energy and how can i learn from what happened on this and that i didn't like and how can i learn from that and and make better decisions and, and try to get that energy into this positive it's not it's a, it's not a quick switch it can't be it, it's got to be a learning curve i'm just talking to myself you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm i'm trying to figure out where 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 are we going journey like i'm, I'm philosophy yeah. and so if we're talking to this side my people know me whatever but like philosophy is my thing to think about like it's way deeper than us sitting right here in these chairs right now. Yeah, it's like you can tell yourself a lie over and over again until you actually believe it. I've and done it, it. And yeah, I've done it. I've done it I've done plenty it. of times. <laughs> it's wild. And it's like you're not living in, in, living in reality. You and you it. expect a certain outcome and it's not what you want. But you told yourself to lie over and over again instead of just being real with yourself. Because when you're real with yourself, you can live a great life. Um, but that moment when you're not, when you're not honest with yourself, and you start getting results that you really don't want, then you did it to yourself. So it's up to you. You're in control of your life right now. Everything in front of you, anything that you want, you can have. Have a game plan, and just be honest. Um, it's, it's wild that by not being true to yourself. The way, what, what causes us not to be real with ourselves is trying to live up to the story that we're one, playing in our head, or two, we think the receiving end of our energy portrays. So now I gotta be this type of person, I have to be this. And in doing so, I'm not paying any attention to myself. Be true to you, and again, we talk about attraction, we talk about energy. Be, figure you out, be, be good with you within, and anything friends family spouse whatever will stand next to you as long as you are vibrating on that so you, you can only be what you're vibrating if you if you're vibrating bullshit you're going to be bullshit yeah you vibe on good energy or self-growth whatever it may be you you're going to attract what you vibe it's way deeper than us sitting right here right now yeah energy energy can take you a long way um if you if you're giving off negative energy Expect negative results and outcomes um, from the people. But negative is fun sometimes. It's crazy. Everybody's been upset. Everybody, everybody has complained. Everybody does complain. Everybody, some people do it more than others. But there's something about complaining and feeling sorry for yourself and playing the, the victim that like it's it's comforting. It's comforting. And we the faster you can change your mind from one thought, a negative thought, to a positive thought. That's the practice. It might right now be a negative thought and it lasts for the last 48 hours and it's negative, but then it was 47 hours. You're like, all right, let me change my mind. And, and we talked about having like good people around you. So that moment when you walk into a door somewhere and uh, like right here, right now, and you deliver some negative energy and it could go one or two ways. So that person that you're, you're talking to or you're venting to, they may have that same energy, that same negative energy. And it's just a trickle down effect from there, right? You guys are both sharing your negative vibes or whatever it is, but you run into somebody, they could turn, they can shift your whole mood. You know, someone to just pick you up and be like, "Yo, let's like, let's get this, to, let's get this right. right. You know, let's turn this around. Let me help you turn this around, or just talk to me. You know, and um, it'll really help you shift your focus. And it's again, just having good people around you, having a good right. network, having a good support system, um, that can really get you through this life. Um, 
you know, just over overcoming obstacles. Um, you know, I've faced a bunch of adversity over, um, you know, over, over my life. We all do. And uh, I'm still here today. You know, I'm still here today. It, it, it's, it's been, uh, I've been through a few obstacles, um, but it's just like, if I didn't have people around me that were, you know, that were, that were good, genuine people, um, I don't know where I would be right now. And I'm just thankful to, you know, that to have a great support system and have people around me that really care. And, um, you know, it's, enab it's enabling me to, to get through this life journey. And um, I'm starting to appreciate the little things more than I ever have. And it's just a part of growth. You know, I'm 31. When I was 21, I didn't think the way I, I think now. So let's, let's, as we grow, and I've been sitting, standing next to this guy for a long time, as we grow, we got, we're learning to tell, I, I am, I want to, I want to give the message of take care of your brain, take care of that brain. Like, cause all right, so we don't think the way we did when we were 21, just cause we haven't experienced, we didn't experience those 10 years yet. We've experienced these 10 years. Let's, for the next 10 years, let's play off of everything that happened here to make it in the positive on this end. You know what I'm saying? So 30 to 40 is work to be done to set you up for when you are 40, 45, 45. Like The work, it never stops. You yeah. will never figure everything out. You don't always know everything and understand that and humble yourself and say, there's work to be done on myself, in the world. You know what I mean? It's crazy. My mom is 60 years old. 60. And she still doesn't have it all figured out. She's a successful woman. She has a bachelor's, two masters, a PhD, and she's still trying to figure it out. You know, she does well for herself. And, um, and it just, it makes me feel better about myself and my life journey to know that it's, uh, it's never ending. You know, you can't get complacent, content with where you are at the moment because the, the moment you get content, it's the moment you stop serving your purpose. Yeah. whatever that is so you know you just got to keep pushing forward and and uh, you know be a good example out here it's it's um life is just deep it's deeper than just us you know there's so much more out here than just us as individuals um there's so many people um in this world but if we all handle our obligations and 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 you know again i keep saying it we all serve our purpose we're out all, here. and we're on the same team yeah, we're all, we're all the same team, team and it's, there's so much negative energy out here so much negative vibes oh like I, I see things all the time like i had to get rid of my i had a snapchat and uh i would see things all the time like people posting pictures of like they'd be they'll be out somewhere and post a picture of like maybe it was like a girl's shoes and they don't like them and like kind of making fun of them and i'm like that's like those are insecurities you know don't they, I, I don't i like i don't understand the purpose of like doing that but um you know everyone's different everyone goes about their business differently but just be a good person. Be a good person. Just be a good person. Yeah, and work on yourself. The work's not done. That's 17 minutes. We can't get those moments back. That was mo that was moments in time. Anybody that's here could talk that see it, saw it live. Whether you see it off the uh, Facebook, it's three, five days, a month, six months from now. Use your platform. Walk your purpose. Yeah, walk in your purpose for sure. Walk in your purpose. Yeah, you know, be a that's good all I can say. I mean, I'm getting ready to go walk in my purpose <laughs> and go get me some food. I need a cheesesteak. It's the Leaf Show. We'll be back.